Welcome back guys to another roundup of today's WWE 2K14 news and notes and to be honest not a whole lot to talk about today just a few things we are going to quickly touch on so as I mentioned in yesterday's video the official WWE Games YouTube channel have started up uploading entrance and finisher videos and these are going to be daily and the first two went up yesterday and the first two were The Rock and The Ultimate Warrior so if you guys haven't seen those videos yet and want to see those two entrance and finisher videos I'm going to be linking those videos for you guys in the description below. So obviously those were pretty cool to see, always good to see some new gameplay and stuff like that. Obviously it wasn't a whole lot there but it did show The Rock's new Spinebuster animation which actually looked pretty good, a bit more impactful than the Spinebuster we've seen in recent years. And yeah, new animations, always good and always nice to see. But moving away now from the gameplay, WWE Games have also released a few new loading screens for the game that you should be seeing on the screen now. So we've got Zack Ryder, Sheamus, The Shield, AJ Lee and Natalia. So obviously not too much to say about those, but they do look pretty cool. So yeah, hopefully we're going to be getting a few more of them in the days to come. Now guys, as most of you already know, the game's full roster has been fully revealed now as we saw on Raw, which we spoke about in yesterday's video. And a lot of fans since that reveal have sort of questioned why certain superstars have been missed off the game this year, like Fandango and the Usos and so on. And some of the fans are actually taking to Twitter to ask the WWE 2K guys exactly why. And Corey Ledesma has made a couple of interesting replies, which I'm going to show you guys now. So in regards to the Usos being missed off the game, he said the reason for the Usos missing 2K14 because at the time of game development, the Usos were not really on TV. So kind of a strange one to me considering they were on 13, but hey, that's the reasons for it. So just wanted to share that. But he also made another interesting tweet, and this was in response to being asked about other numerous superstars missing from the game. He basically confirmed the roster cutoff date was in March and hinted any debuts after March would possibly be coming via DLC. So as I've said all along, I'm pretty confident one of the DLC packs is going to be featuring kind of like a roster update featuring all the up-to-date guys. So I will be expecting to see guys like Fandango, RVD, Curtis Axel and guys like that hopefully coming via DLC and hopefully information regarding that DLC will be coming sometime in the near future. But anyway guys, that is going to be it for today's roundup of WWE 2K14 news. Hopefully I'll come across some new information later today which I can include in the video for you guys tomorrow. But in the meantime, plenty of 2K14 news and general 2K14 videos on my channel that you might have missed previously and you can find all of those videos in my 2K14 playlist which I'll link in the description below. As always, comments, likes, all that good stuff will be much appreciated and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet already. So expect more from me coming very very soon but until then this has been 101 and I will see you all on the next one.